number three in his speech is to not use jargons. What I did is exactly use jargons. And by now you know what profession I'm an engineer. So I think you did your accomplished your objective number three definitely very well. You do not use any jargons, right? And over here the joke is probably understood only by engineers. And I can see some you laughing and nobody else. <laughs> so you did a great job. You did not use any jargons. Another thing I liked about your speech was you were very free. Your words were very free, you moved around, and uh, I was wowed. I hadn't seen you in a speech as free as I saw you today, and I thought that was a great improvement. I really liked the fact that you dropped any inhibitions. I think you have pointed out in the class that you tend to think a lot about the words that you choose, even while you're speaking, right? And that holds you back. But today I thought there was a step improvement. There was a tremendous improvement that you were free. You were using your hands. However, I did notice as I'm speaking, one of the body language or the actions that you did was internally. You used the word internally. And if you go back to the video, you will see your hands move like this, right? But you were talking about internalized internally. Mm -hmm. I thought it should have been the other way around because this is more opening up rather than being internal. Anyways, that's a fine piece. But yes, I thought you did exceptionally well. You did not use any jargons. And I did not note down the first sentence, but you had a lot of examples to what you were communicating about rules versus principles. So I think you also accomplished the other two objectives. Now, where I think you could have improved a little bit is the choice of words. You could have been a little bit free you tended to go behind because you thought, I have to use exactly the same words. You could have liberated yourself a little bit more by allowing yourself to just use the words that are flowing at that moment, mm -hmm. right? And I think you would have been a little more free flowing at that point. And that was the only glitch or weakness that I saw in the speech. It's not really a weakness. You can improve. You've improved a lot, right? You could see your body language. You were free. But over there, I think you can improve a little bit. And I understand you had a lot of points to make. And it's hard to memorize all of those things. So if there are, let's say, five or six points, and you could fit on the palm of your hand, how about writing it down? That way, you don't have to go behind. Right? Or you could make us more involved by saying, Okay, so tell us what about the rule in your house? What is rule number one in my house? And you pick up a book and you say, okay, the rule number one in my house is kids cannot throw the ball around, mm -hmm. right? Or the principle in my house is, so you could go back and forth by reading a book and yet not forget. And that's pretty much I have because I want to be elected. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>